In today's video, I'm going to share the best tinted moisturizer that make my skin but better look. So let's get started. You may confuse with all different products such as foundation, tinted moisturizer, skin tint, and even BB cream. So what's the difference? For easier understanding, let's say an espresso is a concealer. Water is just water. Milk is emollient which moisturizes your skin. If you put water into it, it becomes more liquidy which makes it easier to apply all over your face. So that's the foundation. It provides various amount of coverage depending on the amount of water you put in. If you put some milk in the espresso, it becomes softer and that becomes a latte with a tinted moisturizer. It provides hydration while giving you a sheer coverage. If you put both milk and water together, it becomes less liquidy than latte but heavier than an Americano. So it is in between and that's what we call a skin tint. It has the most lightweight consistency while giving the most natural coverage. BB cream is a whole other story because it was originally invented for a patient in Germany by a dermatologist named Dr. Christine Schirmeck in the 1950s. She made a special cream for people who had surgery or skin treatments. This cream was meant to hide redness, irritation and skin problems while also making the skin feel better and heal faster. But the concept of BB cream was later popularized in Korea so there are way more options in the market. So now let's move on to product recommendation. First product I'd like to recommend is this Glossier's Perfecting Skin Tint. This is something I consider to be an actual skin tint. It does have very light coverage. If you're a person who loves a real no makeup makeup look and are okay with sheer coverage that covers almost nothing but just even at your skin tone this might be a great option for you consistency of this product is liquidy almost like a serum in skincare so you have to blend it right away as soon as you squeeze the product while blending it blends like a skincare product but something doesn't absorb right away so it takes time to blend and absorb into your skin but it still blends beautifully and doesn't feel like i'm wearing makeup after applying it all over my face when it comes to coverage, it has the lightest coverage among the products I'm introducing today. It doesn't look too much on the skin. Even if you love a no makeup makeup look, this might be too subtle. I could say this will be a product that some people really love or hate. For me, this is just a product that I was looking for in a skin tint. But not something I'd like to recommend if you have some severe hyperpigmentation or breakouts because it does not provide enough coverage for that. If you look at some hyperpigmentation on my forehead and under eye dark circles, there is not that much of a difference. Before I applied the product, the level of hydration on my cheek was 35%. After applying it all over my face, the level of hydration was 37%. It went up by 2%, so it gave a little bit of hydration as soon as I applied it. When it comes to finish, it has a subtle, almost like a skincare glow to it. So I found it makes my skin glowy and dewy. But this is something I will go for all the season except summer because when I try this during the summer when it's too hot and humid, my skin looks greasy, not glowy. Now that it's fall, it's just perfect time to use this product again. When it comes to shade, they have 12 different shades from light to deep. Compared to other big beauty brands, the shade range seems relatively small. I chose the shade G8, which they label as a medium neutral shade. I wish they have a light to medium shade with neutral undertones because this shade is a little bit darker than my skin tone. But since they have a sheer coverage, the shade doesn't appear too obvious on my skin, so it doesn't bother me at all. If you're looking for a product that has a sheer coverage and easy to plan, I will highly recommend this product. I think the level of coverage in this product is just the right amount, especially when you just start doing your makeup. Because when you start with a high coverage product, you cannot go back to one with lower coverage because you are used to seeing yourself with high coverage. So the best scenario is starting from the product that gives you a subtle sheer difference and then slowly increases according to your needs. Next product I'd like to recommend is this Tower 28 Beauty Sunny Days SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen. 
If you want a light to medium coverage with SPF, this is the product I'd like to recommend. But please note that SPF in makeup does not provide enough protection for your skin from sunlight. So it requires you to put a decent amount of sunscreen before you actually apply a tinted moisturizer or any makeup product with SPF. But still, it has SPF 30. It is good for extra protection. When it comes to UV filter, they use in this product, they use mineral filter, which specifically zinc oxide, which is relatively safer for sensitive skin than other ingredients. For a little bit background of this product, the founder of 28 Beauty launched her brand with her struggle with eczema and sensitive skin. So all of their products claim to be safe for sensitive skin. On the back of the product tube, they have annual logo, which means that they have received the National Eczema Association seal of acceptance. When it comes to consistency, it is lightweight but a little bit richer than the glossier one. I could say this product is in between serum and lotion. If you blend it in, you could feel a bit of oiliness, which I guess is coming from the UV filter, which normally gives you a shiny appearance. It glides smoothly onto my skin and feels a bit slippery when I apply with my hands, and it takes a bit time off to absorb too. The coverage of this product is in between light and medium, so if you feel like you need more coverage than Glossier product, this will be a great choice. I wouldn't say this covers perfectly, but definitely covers some redness or hyperpigmentation in a natural way. It's nice to use to even up your skin tone as well as for everyday use. When I tested the level of hydration, it decreased a bit after applying it all over my face. But please note that when I tested my skin before, it was a time when I just applied my skincare, so it might be all coming from it being absorbed. When it comes to finish, this product has the most glowy finish among the products I tested. If you have oily skin, it might require to finish up the look with some powder to get that excess shine off your face. But as a person with dry skin, I found it, it is okay, especially when I had those days with super dry skin. I found it, it is better to be slightly shiny and oily, so it doesn't bother me at all. When it comes to shade, they have 7 different shades from light to deep and I chose the shade 20 which they say a light complexion with golden neutral undertones. It has warm slash neutral tones and matches well with my natural skin tone. Once I blend everything in, my skin looks healthy and nicely even out. Overall, if you have sensitive skin or are suffering from eczema and looking for a product that has low possibility of reaction with your skin and don't mind the glowy appearance, this might be a great option for you. If you have oily or combination skin, I got a product for you. It's the Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer Brow Spectrum SPF 20 Sunscreen. I got this product a few months ago and actually didn't like it at first and never used it. But when I tried this product again for this video, I actually like it. Consistency of this product is more like a lightweight fluid and compared to Glossier and Tire 21, this definitely feels more like a makeup product, not like skincare. While blending with my hands, it feels not too oily or too hydrating, but more silky. Among all the products I'm featuring today, this is the most lightweight one. When it comes to coverage, it has a medium coverage. You can see that even though I squeezed the same amount as I used when I was showing Glossier and Tower 28 products, the color looks way more obvious, so it is more pigmented. Some hyperpigmentation on my cheek has been covered naturally as well. It's also buildable, so you can add more product if you want more coverage. When it comes to hydration, the level of hydration decreased by 2% after applying it all over my face. The finish is more like a silky or semi-matte. Once you blend it and absorb everything into your skin, it feels like nothing on your skin. When it comes to shade, I chose 26W, which Selena Gomez used too. I didn't pick it intentionally though. The shade says it is light medium with warm olive undertones. I wish the shade looked more neutral because it looks a bit yellowy on my skin when I blend everything out. My face looks more yellowish. 
since it has medium coverage, the shade choice should be very important because it will look obvious on your skin. Overall, this will be a great step if you are scared of step out of a high coverage zone to natural coverage zone but want to go for a no makeup makeup look. It has a lightweight formula with matte finish while giving a decent amount of coverage. If you are used to using only foundation and want to try a tinted moisturizer for the first time, this will be a great option for you. It has SPF which is always a plus and I personally think that because of this silky finish and lightweight formula, it would be great to apply with a buffing brush to get the thin lay of the product. Next we have the OG NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer and it has SPF 50. This is not a new product at all and I already featured this product in a makeup routine which I film like five years ago. At the time, I was looking for a natural coverage based makeup product, but not like a regular foundation. There are not too many options of that kind of product, so this was the only options for me. The reason why I wanted to add this product list is because of its sheer and luxurious glow finish, which is pretty hard to find with the new brands nowadays. It has a creamy and rich consistency, so it doesn't feel like it is a tinted moisturizer that has been released nowadays, which is more lightweight and set in sometimes, but more into cream category, which requires you to put more effort with blending. This is definitely something that is great to apply with fingers because if you apply with a brush, it will take all the beautiful glow away while buffing it. Only downside of this product is its packaging. The product comes out too much when squeezed, so you need to be careful with the amount you squeeze out. Speaking of coverage, it has medium coverage that is also buildable which is ideal for dealing with issues like skin pigmentation. Provides enough coverage for everyday use as well as special location. When I compare the final look to me wearing a skin tint, you can definitely see a noticeable difference in coverage. My skin appears more balanced and even. When it comes to hydration, the level of hydration decreased around 3.6%. When it comes to finish, even though it has rich and creamy consistency, once it's blended, it becomes more like a semi-matte finish. Not too dry or not too matte, just right in between. When light reflects on it, it gives a luxurious, luminous sheen to my face. Speaking of the shade range, they have 16 different shades available. NARS expanded their shade range two years ago, and I chose the shade Medium Zero, which is a medium tone with neutral undertones. However, when I test this on my cheek and neck, it appears slightly redder than my natural skin tone. My final thought on this product is I think this is a gentle alternative to foundation because of its decent coverage and semi-matte finish. But it still gives my skin a better look and also it has SPF which is always, always a plus. Next, we have a fancy option. It's Chanel Loose Face and the type of product is Water Fresh Tint. I haven't had the chance to use Chanel's face makeup product before, but apparently Chanel knows how to foundation as well as face makeup products. So I was excited to give it a try. When it comes to consistency, it has very interesting pigments infused with micro droplet pigments. When you blend it in your fingers, it feels like you're working with water. It comes with a cute buffing brush. I found it is too small to cover the entire face, so I use a bigger one I already had for easier application. The brand suggests using a buffing brush for spot concealing, saying that the product is foundation and concealer hybrid, but I think it is better to use a separate concealer to cover the spot efficiently. Although it is a water tint, it provides a light to medium coverage. Once I squeezed two pumps of this product, I found that it made the color look too noticeable on my skin. So I found that using just one pump is enough for covering a half of your face to get a natural look with decent coverage. The level of hydration decreased by 2%. After applying all over my face, I noticed a luxurious sheen glow on my skin, more like a fresh watery glow than the oily one. It feels so fresh and lightweight on my skin. 
There are 16 different shades available, but the product doesn't specify which ones. It's warm, cool, light or medium. So I have to make a guess which shade would perfectly match with my skin tones. I chose the shade B30. It looks a slightly lighter than my natural skin tone and appears a bit red tone situation compared to my neck color but it doesn't bother me at all because it offers a sheer coverage but I wish they had more neutral shade options Overall, if you're looking for a luxurious water tint that makes your skin fresh and glowy, this product is great to invest in. Last but not least, we have BB Cream and it's Amish BB Moringa Ceramide BB Cream. For those of you guys who are looking for more like a Korean brand option, this one is for you. There are so many great BB Cream options out there in the Korean market, but I found that this is the only one with various shade ranges compared to other Korean brands, which only have like two or three shades in BB cream. The consistency of this product is the richest among the products I tested. So rather than a BB cream, I think it falls somewhere between a tinted moisturizer and hydrating foundation. When it comes to coverage, it does provide a medium coverage, leaning slightly towards full coverage from my perspective, and it has the highest coverage among the products I'm introducing today. If you need to cover some hyperpigmentation or have deeper complexion than mine, the density of this formula will be enough. So I will reach out for this product when I have some best skin days or I would just use small amount of this product and blend thinly with my fingertips. The level of hydration decreased by 2%. When it comes to finish, although it has a hydrating formula, it sells well on my skin and gives a semi-matte finish. If you are looking for a product that provides a dewy glow like a skin tint, this might not be the right choice. When it comes to shade, they used to have five shades available, but because of its popularity, they extended the shade range to eight different shades. For me, the light to medium shade looks lighter and medium shade looks a bit darker. So I like to mix the two shades to make the shade that perfectly match with my skin tone. Overall, if you're looking for a creamy, rich, hydrating tinted moisturizer with decent coverage, in the Korean market, this will be a great option for you. So this was all about the best tinted moisturizer. I hope you guys find it very helpful. I know choosing the base makeup product looks too complicated if you start doing your makeup, but starting from this kind of sheer and natural coverage product will be very helpful to know which part of your face needs more coverage or not. And if you want more coverage, you can add some concealer on top rather than putting too high coverage product all over your face. Please let me know if there is any of your favorite tinted moisturizer, BB cream, skin tint. I'd like to know your recommendation on the comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye!